Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a bunch of new effects to paint.net as a plugin. So there's this great library called Gimmick out there, which actually works with a lot of programs. So you can get this at gimmick.eu, and it should be pretty simple to install. So we're going to go over to the download page here, and the specific version we want for paint.net is going to be located about halfway down the page. So we want gimmick-qt plugin for paint.net. When you have it downloaded and you double click to open it up, it'll look something like this if you're using 7-zip or a similar program. So the files we're going to need here are the gimmick.dll and the gimmick folder. And then as per the readme, if you're using the classic version of gimmick, then we install it here to program files. Otherwise, you may have the Microsoft Store version, which is a non-free version of paint.net, and you would install it here instead. So I'm using the classic version, so we're going to put it there. So you would simply need to go to your C drive in Windows File Explorer, then do Program Files, scroll down to paint.net. It may be easy to pass over because the folder name isn't capitalized here, so be careful about that. So paint.net, and then go into Effects. And by default, this folder is empty. So I'm going to go over to 7-zip where we have the archive opened up, and I'm going to select gimmick.dll and drag that into the Effects folder, give it permission. And now the gimmick folder as well, once again, giving it administrative permission. So now we just need to restart paint.net. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So now for locating all of the new effects, you go to effects and there'll be a category at the top now called advanced. And then you open up gimmick QT. So here we have an entire separate interface that once it loads has a ton of new effects. So I'll just go ahead and open up a random image so I can show some of that. So let's go back to the gimmick QT plugin. And let's just kind of take a look at a few of these. So in black and white, where we can immediately remove all of the color from the image and just leaving it on a grayscale from white to black. So let's find a few other effects under frames. We can get a vignette effect, which is going to kind of add these shadows to the outside as the center is focused in an oval shape. And you can, of course, increase the strength of that to make it more obvious, changing the radius of it to determine where that oval shape should start to have the shadows going to the outside and lowering down the max radius to decrease the amount of time it takes to go from the full brightness to the full shadow. So inside of the artistic category, we can find some pretty dramatic effects as well. Uh, for instance, if we want to make it look like this entire image was painted by a brush, we could use the brushify effect and we can change the shape of the brush as well. Okay, so anyway, if you find an effect that you like and you actually want to apply it, just go ahead and hit apply and then that will update the original image. So once you apply your effect, you can hit OK on the window, close it out, and see the changes that you've made. So that's basically the gimmick plugin in a nutshell. As you can see, this adds currently 548 new filters that you can play around with, so it really expands the number of effects you have available to you in paint.net. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.